Woods is Miss Bell. Today, for story time, we're gonna read Toy Story Showtime. It didn't take long for Andy's toys to settle into their new home in Bonnie's room. Everyone had been very friendly and helpful, but many of the toys were still getting to know one another. One morning, Dolly had an idea to help everyone become better friends. Let's have a talent show, she said. What a splendid plan, said Miss Mr. Pricklepants. Soon everyone began practicing their acts. They couldn't wait to show off their talents. Buzz Lightyear watched his friends. They all seemed to know exactly what to do, but he wasn't so sure what his acts should be. He wanted to be truly spectacular, something that would impress Jessie the cowgirl. First, Buzz tried juggling. Anyone need a lift? He said to the peas in the pod. The peas cheered as they flew through the air. Next, Buzz tried a karate act. Wait till Jessie sees me do this, he said. Karate chopping this way and that. Hiya! 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 Although his acts were both good, Buzz wasn't sure they'd impress Jessie. Buzz looked around at other toys. Maybe he could join one of their acts. Buzz noticed that Mr. Pricklepants and the little green aliens were practicing a play. Jesse loves to watch plays, Buzz thought as he hurried over to them. Mr. Pricklepants greeted Buzz. We're doing a classic Romeo and Juliet. Perfect, said Buzz. I think I'd make a great Romeo. Sorry, Mr. Lightyear, Mr. Pricklepants replied. I'm afraid the only role left is Juliet's mother. Buzz sighed. Juliet's mother wasn't exactly the role he had been hoping for. Buzz decided to find a different group. He saw Ham and Buttercup working on a, a comedy routine. Buzz knew that Jessie loved a good joke. If he was in their act, she would see how funny he was. I can do impressions, Buzz announced as he joined his friends. He put on his cowboy hat and said, Howdy, partners. I'm Sheriff Woody. Did you know that there's a snake in my boot? I don't know about sounding like Woody, Ham said. Those work, but you definitely sound wooden. Just then, Woody rode on Bullseye. Watch how a real cowboy performs, Woody called. He and Bullseye were great at the rodeo tricks. Uh, what a rootin' tootin' cowboy, Slinky said with a whistle. Buzz had to agree. He realized that Woody made a much better cowboy than he ever could. A few minutes later, Jesse hopped on stage, eager to get that show started. Are you ready to do your act, Buzz? she asked. I can't wait to see it. Buzz's smile froze. Uh-oh, he said nervously. He still hadn't decided what to do. Bullseye turned on some music to start the show. A catchy tune filled the room. Suddenly, Buzz's foot began twitching. Then his arm, then his hips, then the peas rolled out of the way as Buzz kicked his legs and waved his arms. But Buzz couldn't control himself. His movements turned into dance steps, and he couldn't stop. Buzz danced over to Jessie and spun her around and then dipped her. Uh, I, I don't know why I did that, Buzz apologized, blushing. Jessie just grinned. She knew exactly what had happened. The music had switched Buzz into Spanish mode. It's okay, Buzz, she whispered. Just go with it. Buzz smiled shyly back at Jessie. Uh, well then, he began, may I have this dance? Jessie nodded, and the two danced up and around the room. They dipped and twirled, they, and they spun and whirled. And they smiled at each other the whole time. Their friends watched clapping and cheering for the dancing duo. When the music ended, Buzz was beaming. He'd finally impressed Jessie and discovered the perfect act for the show. Yeehaw! Jessie shouted. What a great way to start the show. That's right, agreed Buzz. But we have one thing left to do. Jessie was puzzled. What's that? Buzz said, take a bow. Bye, friends!